about it. Pretty
Okay, good morning. Hello, teacher. All right, so how are you this morning? I'm fine. Okay, so this morning we will have reading and writing. So I want you to read about, okay, it's all about the Egyptian ants in the bathroom. Okay, that is unit 10, that is a fantasy. And I want you to read that one later, but before I want you to read, I'm gonna show you some new words, okay? There you are, so are you ready? Yes. Okay, so here are some new words. Okay, the first one is that's so very easy, what's that? Okay, that the one. Bathroom. Oh, it is a room containing a toilet and a sink and typically also a bathroom. So that is a, it, you can have also there. Okay, small room for private accessing. Another one is, okay, the next one is, Oh, how will you read that word? Okay, how will you read that word? Breath. Uh, breath. breath. Again. Breath. breath. Okay, so when you talk about breath, it is the air taken, taken into or expelled from the lungs. So, breath. Another one is, what's the next one? That is? Mean not. Okay. What do you mean by that? You know what is? The, oh, I guess that's so easy. It's, what do you mean by that? Do you have an idea about that one? No. Oh, it is a period of time equal to 60 seconds or 60th of an hour. Okay, and the last okay. one is the end, so it will be the end. Can you say end? It is the final part of something, so end. So it is like in, in geometry, you can have end points, so it is the final, and you cannot extend that one. Like also in a movie, if there's that is the ending, so you can't. You can add more because that's already an end. And number five there, what is it? That is, oh yeah. Okay. Nearly, you know what is nearly? That is an adverb. It is nearly means very close or it's very close to or almost. So nearly, like near. You just add ly, that is, that's why it is an adverb. Nearly, almost, or very close to, okay? Oh yeah, and the sixth one, what's the sixth one? Chapter. Okay, chapter, chapter. again. Chapter. chapter. Okay, what do you mean by chapter? You know what is a chapter? Like chapter in a book. Hey, have you tried to read the books? Then there were a lot of chapters like chapter one, chapter two, and so on. So okay. when we talk about chapter, okay, what is that? Do you have any some inputs about it? Chapter. Chapter. Okay, so it is a period of time or an episode in a person's life. Or it could be also a main division of a book. So the book is divided into different chapters. Okay, we have chapter one. That is the beginning until the end. It is divided. It could be also applied in, in a life of a person. Okay, it is a period of time. 
in person's light. So, for example, if you were still, oh, you're an adolescent, so that's your to another chapter of life, then adulthood and so on. Okay. Okay, this is the last seven. How will you read that word? Okay, how will you read that word? Oh, yeah. Okay, how will you read that, Ben? I don't know. Oh, you don't know how to read that? That is Egypt. Okay, it is a place. Egypt. Egypt. Okay. Egypt is, it is a noun. It is a name of a place, a country. From the Greek word, okay, Egyptos, which means mansion of spirit of Peta. That is from the Egyptians. In the Egypt, you can see a lot of pyramid there. Different pyramid, mostly in their place. So they're using the different pyramids. The difference, uh, it's look like um, it's a desert, like the place a desert, and it's so hot there. Oh, and there, the people who live there are called Egyptians. Oh, and there were a lot of stories about Egypt. Okay, that is name, that is a noun and the name of a country and a place, Egypt. Okay, do you have any okay. question about the seven words here? Okay, any question? Okay, none. So let's proceed to 8 to 15. Okay, the next word there is experience. Oh, that's what do you mean by experience? Oh, what does it mean? When you experience something, okay, what do you, what do you think? Experience. Like you experience playing basketball since you like basketball, right? Okay, you can play basketball, so that's your experience in playing basketball. That is a practical contact with, or it is real, your real experience, then you can learn from it. Okay, that is the, it means you encounter that certain situation. That is experience, okay? Okay, how about the second one? What's the next word? Okay, what is the next word? That is experience. Okay, the experience. And how about the next one? That is peace. Okay, a piece. You know what is a piece? Like a piece of pizza. Okay, what do you have an idea? A piece of pizza. Okay, what does it mean? Piece. Oh, since there are a lot of just a piece means only one or part or portion of an object or anything that is piece. Okay, part. For example, this is the pizza, and then since it's a part, a piece, just this shaded portion that is a piece. If pieces, so it means many parts of the pizza, okay? Peas. If many pieces, oh yeah. How about number 10? Okay, let's go to number 10. What the, what's that mean? String. Oh, what does a string mean? String, that is also a noun. You know what is a string? It is a material consisting of threads of cotton. Okay, you can have this also. It's a set. Set of things tied. You can, like in a guitar. Can you see the string of a guitar? Like that one in a guitar. You know what is a guitar, right? You know what is a guitar? Okay, like this. And then this one, there are a lot of string, then you're gonna 
when you're gonna play that, you will do like that to the string so that it will create sound. Okay. That is okay. a string. How about the race? Oh, that's so easy too. Race. You know what is a race? Like motor race. Okay, how will you describe when we talk about race? Uh, a car. Like a motor race. Oh, there are a lot of race. Have you tried to see um, race, different races? Motor race. You haven't experienced, you haven't tried to see a motor race? Wherein you can see a lot of motorcycles, they're having a race, who will be the first, who will win. That is a race. Okay? Race. And how about number 12? What is number 12? Okay, that is? Okay, try to see what word is number 12. That is a verb. Um, Okay, amazed, like amazing. So when a person is amazed of something, he or she is surprised. Oh, I'm amazed. When you say amazed, it's the same with surprise. He or she is surprised, so that's amazed, okay? How about next one? Tidy. Okay, that is an adjective also. Tidy. Are you doing tidy in your house? Is it your room very tidy? Oh, is your room in a tidy order? Tidy means organized. It's arranged in a proper way. Tidy. I mean, sorry, it's not tidy. Tiny. Okay, sorry, that's tiny. What is a tiny? Very... You know what is tiny? Tiny. Very opposite to? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is tiny? Tiny. Okay, when you say tiny, very small. Smaller than small. Tiny. Okay, and then the fourth one, what's the 14? Okay, what is it? 14. The 14 is a. Uh, what is that? Okay, a pyramid. Pyramid. Oh, you know what is a pyramid? It is an, a monumental structure with a square or triangular base. So I will. Pyramid is like this. Okay, it's a triangular base. Then here, it's a triangular base. You can see that. You can have that in math and geometry. And then, then you can put inside there. Mostly, the Egyptians have a lot of pyramid, and they're putting some inside there. So that is a pyramid, and that is a noun. Okay. And the last one, when you say disturb, oh, that's so easy. You and your mom will say, don't disturb me. So you will not distract your mom because she is busy or what. Okay, that is disturb. Do you understand? You will not disturb someone if they say that don't disturb. You will not touch. You will not ask or you will not do anything for them to be disturbed. Okay. Oh, do you have any question there? No. Oh, you don't. Huh? Okay, so there you are. You don't have question. So let's try to do the reading. Okay, it's all about the Egyptian ants in the bathroom. Okay, so we will know the story about the Egyptian ants in the bathroom. Okay, so we will know what are those. So this time, I want you to read that story, okay? Try to read that one, and later I'm going to explain something, okay? All right, man. All right.
Okay. Zipch Andrew. Okay, the title is Egyptian. Okay. Okay, try to read that one. Can you read that? Okay. All right, try to read that one. It's all about the Egyptian ants. So we will know, it, since it's a fantasy, uh, we will know about the story of that, okay? Okay, so Andrew, okay, Andrew, get your nose out of that book. It's time to brush your teeth and go to bed. Okay, can you? Okay, try to read that. Okay. I want to fall asleep. I want to fall asleep.
Hello, okay, teacher. so is it okay now? Are you using oh, are you using computer or iPad? What? Oh, your it's is it okay now? Your computer? Yeah. Oh. Have some problem. Okay, but how about now? Can you hear me? Yep. You can see my screen too. Yes. Okay, so this time I want you to read about okay, Egyptian ants in the bathroom. Okay, so I want you to read that story about Egyptian ants in the bathroom. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Andrew, get your Andrew, get your notes out of the book. So, uh, because Andrew, it, get your notes out of that book. It's time to brush your teeth and go to bed. Um, mom, hell, about five more minutes. I'm ready. I'm nearly to the end of. In the end of the chapter about engines, five more, and that's my final answer. Five minutes came uh, and went finally. Andrew hid the, for the bathroom to brush his teeth. Uh, life in a sentence engine was so suggesting out oh, if only he could experience just a bit of it okay so we're talking about andrew and her mom this time so this word is egypt egypt okay that is egypt and then this one is fascinating okay fascinating okay so the mom of Andrew wants Andrew to clean his health, but Andrew said, wait, because I'm still reading about Egypt. So he is almost in the end. That's why he needs to finish it because he really likes the story about Egypt because after, after he's going to read that, then he will do cleaning by himself. Okay. So again, this is fascinating. Okay, fascinating. All right, the next one here. As he opened the door, a small black string was on the bathroom floor. And Andrew looked again. No, the string was moving. Oh, see, the string was moving there. Okay, as you can see. What could it be? He asked out very, very loud. What's in the bathroom floor? He raced back to his room, returning in seconds with his best magnifying glass. So he used, you know what is a magnifying glass? He used a magnifying glass for him to see what really is on the bathroom floor. Oh, he used magnifying glass, okay? Streams of ants were moving across the floor. 
What do you mean by streams of ants? You know what is streams of ants? Yes, Ben, you know what is it? Streams of ants. So it means there were many ants moving across the floor. And Andrew saw that one. So Andrew was amazed and he sat down to watch. So he just sat down on the floor and he watched the streams of ants moving across the floor. Okay? Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, and then the tiniest ant he had ever seen was lying in a corner of the floor with others carrying all around it. Where they? So there is a tiniest. You know what is the tiniest? I mean, the very, yeah. Tiniest, you can sum it's very small. I'm not really, not small because tiny is smaller than small. So the tiniest ant is just lying down in a corner and not moving. Oh, your audio, it's like a robot. <laughs> Okay, there you are. Do you have any do you have any question about that? He used a no. magnifying glass. So why do you think Andrew used a magnifying glass? You know, a magnifying glass is just like this. It's a uh, it's used for the eye, so you can see small or tiny objects. Magnifying glass is just like this. You can use that and then like that. And you can see very, very tiny objects. Andrew used that because he wants to see the streams of ants. Okay? Do you have any question there? Okay, so we will know what is the ending. Okay, so this time I want you to read about the end. What is the ending? Okay? Okay, can you read that part? Here? No, no, they put the or they slamming the body All of the suit. Then Andrew looked to his left more and a gracious strong length to push miniature pair of object that that look like bricks as they were peeling them on top of each other and real classic. They were building a pyramid. This is fantastic. Mm. He say under his breath. So as not the distorted them imagine Injunction history in my old bathroom. Okay, Egyptian. Okay, that is Egyptian. Those are the people who live on. Yeah. Oh, your Can audio. I go Can oh, I what? Go to Bali? Okay, your audio is a little bit. It look like a robot when I hear the sound. Okay, I go to the Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
bên gái Bị chị em không biết Okay, so there you are So like, again, let's go back to the story So Andrew Okay, all of a sudden, Andrew looked to his left and he saw a lot more ants appeared and they struggling to put to push a miniature square object and that looked like a brick because they were building, okay, what they're building? They were building a pyramid. Oh, the ants are building a pyramid in their bathroom. Okay, and as he could observe, that is the story about the Egyptian history. And it was made in his bathroom. That's why it's called Egyptian ants in the bathroom. Okay, but by the way, what again they were building? They were building a... Okay. Not here. <laughs> okay, they were building a pyramid. And that is one of the Egyptian history. Okay. Do you have okay. any question about that one? Question. Do you no. have any question? Okay, uh, no. no. So let's have try. Let's try to answer this one. Okay. Get your nose out of that book means. Oh, that's why. Okay, get your nose out of that book. What does it mean? Okay, is it? Are you okay there? Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, just tell me if you're. I guess you're. I guess you're walking somewhere. Uh, I think it. Uh... Oh, get your nose out of that book means you need a tissue. Use the book to measure your nose. Take your nose and move it or time, to put, time to put the book away. Okay, what, take your nose and move it. That's your answer. Okay, but the correct one is D, time to put the book away because Andrew is always reading the book and the mom said you need to clean yourself first before you're going to continue that one. So he need to put the book away so that he can clean by himself. Okay, and number two, why was Andrew heading to the bathroom? Okay, why do you think Andrew is heading to the bathroom? Is it to get a towel, to brush his teeth, to take a shower, or to finish reading his book? Okay, what do you think? Why was Andrew heading to the bathroom? Okay, that is... Oh, yeah, what do you think is it? Uh, I did it. Yeah, why uh, he was uh, heading get, to the uh, towel? I can, I can get a towel. Okay, that is to brush his teeth. Okay, as you can see, it's time to brush your teeth and go to bed. That's why you need to get, I mean, finish. I mean, continue reading the books later, okay? How about this word? Miniature is not an antonym for which word? Miniature, okay? What antonym? It's the opposite. Miniature is not an antonym for which word? Tiny, huge, massive, or gigantic? Okay. 
Okay. So what do you think? Not an antonym. Miniature. You know what is a miniature? Yeah. Okay, what is it? Miniature is a smaller size than normal. It's very small, smaller size than normal. When you say mini, mini. Something so is uh, massive. massive. Oh, massive. Okay, that is mini means tiny. Okay, that's very tiny. So as you can see, there is a tiny ant there. Yes. Okay, from the passage there, you can tell that Andrew is uh, disgust, disgusted to have ants in his bathroom, angry to have ants in his bathroom, furious to have ants in his bathroom, or excited to have ants in his bathroom. Okay, based on the story, what do you think? Is Not he bad. angry? Is he furious about the ants? Is he excited about I the think ants? It's day. Okay, that is very good. Excited to have ants in his bathroom because for him, they're making a his. It look like the history of the Egyptians, the one that he reads in the book. Okay, very good. And number five here. How long did Andrew's mom give him to read his book? Okay, I guess you can see that here. Oh, you can see that in the first paragraph. Okay, I'll give you a clue. Oh, you can see it here. How long Andrew's mom gave him to his book to read his book? I mean, continue to read his book. Okay, is it four minutes, five minutes? Six minutes or seven minutes? Okay, you can see that in the first paragraph. Okay, what do you think? That is... Okay, what do you think, Ben? Oh, it's very in it's the... five minutes. Okay, very good. That is five minutes. Good job. And next one. Where did Andrew go after reading the book? Okay, where did Andrew go after reading the book? Uh, where do you think he will go? Okay. Where do you think he will go? Um... That is okay. That is so after reading his book, he will go to the bathroom to brush his teeth, and after that, he will go to bed. Okay, so last one here. What did Andrew see in the bathroom? Okay, what did Andrew see in the bathroom? A small black string, black small string. String, black, small, or a magnifying glass. Okay, what, what he saw or what he see in the bathroom, that is? Oh, inside the bathroom, he saw something. And what is that something? Oh, yeah. That is? Okay, what do you think, Ben? Yes. Okay. He saw a... Oh, what he saw there? Uh, uh, I think it's the... Oh, a magnifying glass. But he saw a small black string. So... He saw a small black string and then he tried to use a magnifying glass to clarify those things. Okay? So, do you have any question about that one? I guess since we don't have much time, we just need to continue. We'll, we'll, 
we will continue that lesson or the topic next time. Okay. So since okay. no questions, so thank you so much for this morning and see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. See you.